Has Netflix gifted us the next Game of Thrones just in time for the holidays? Today I'll be reviewing the entire first season of the streamer's newest series and letting you know if it's worth the time. In for review today is Netflix's The Witcher Season 1. I really feel like this show has been in production forever. It seems like it's been years since I first heard about Netflix adapting the popular video game and book series. The trailers have been releasing for months now and it was finally time to unleash this show. Everyone's going to immediately be comparing it to Game of Thrones and obviously every network and streaming service out there is looking for something to appeal to that fan base. but so far nothing has come close. Now I knew absolutely nothing about The Witcher outside the fact that it was a video game and a novel series. But beyond that, I pretty much went into this blind. I love a good fantasy show, and like everyone else, I'm searching for my next epic series to replace Game of Thrones, and I found that this definitely was not that. Now let me clarify that this show is certainly not comparable to Game of Thrones in any way, shape, or form, outside the fact that it is a fantasy epic series involving magic and demons. Now, before you think this made me dislike the show, wait up a moment. I actually really loved this series and found it to be really good. I really cannot fairly compare it to any other show or movie. It has some elements of The Lord of the Rings, but in a very limited sense. This show is not for that audience as it's very adult based and has quite a few graphic scenes and severe language. Now that being said, it was still one heck of a ride and I cannot wait to see where the show goes. There was a ton of controversy when the casting of Henry Cavill was released, but all in all I thought he did a really good job with this. I'm not sure if it was the wig or what, but I sort of forgot about him being Henry Cavill and just enjoyed him as a character. And while he's billed as the lead of the show, he was not what drew my attention in. That honor would go to the lovely actress playing Yennefer, who I found extremely captivating from start to finish. I know we're all supposed to focus on the main character, or perhaps even the younger princess, but I was all about Yennefer. This character goes on such a huge journey over 8 episodes, and it just captivated me much like Daenerys did from Game of Thrones. Their characters are not at all alike, though, but I became very invested in her storyline throughout the season, and I feel like she's going to be the standout of the show. I also really enjoyed the young actress playing Cerulea, and though sometimes her storyline bored me, I think there's a lot of potential there going forward in the show. Now that I've established some of the better qualities, let's focus on some of the not-so-pretty. The show could at times have beautiful scenery and great production value, but the CGI really was not that impressive and a few times I thought it would have been better just to cut those scenes altogether. The show was obviously going for something on a big grand scale, but for a first season budget I just don't think it came together very well. I also was a little confused with all the time jumps in the show as it deals with multiple timelines, and this doesn't really become clear until midway through the season as the character storylines begin to intertwine. I think as the season ended it wasn't as annoying to me, but as a first time viewer who knew nothing about the story, it was at times really confusing and I felt like I'd missed an episode or I saw something out of order. All in all though, I would highly recommend this show. Just don't go into it expecting it to be Game of Thrones or you're going to be sorely disappointed. I think Netflix really has a nice property on their hands and after binging all 8 episodes I'm really eager for more. The season really builds to a crazy good finale and the final moments mark the start of the main storyline going forward. You can almost view the entire season as a prequel of sorts as it's all rushing to a very pivotal moment that is the basis for the show and has been talked about all throughout the 8 episodes. So that's going to do it for this video. Be sure and leave a comment and let me know what you thought about the show and remember to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.